they built a museum in a swamp and then put up a great big replica of Michelangelo's David. I mean, that's either just pure chutzpah or pure faith in the power of art. It's the kind of a place that you can come by yourself with your family, with friends, with visitors. And the fact that we're this little community on the west coast of Florida, which has a world-class museum, it's pretty incredible. As a historian, uh, what we have here in our collections and what we represent is, is very exciting. And I try to get out and uh, into the galleries and into the, uh, to the vaults as often as I can. Ringling is a place of history and it's a place of our future. I think it's an, an important asset uh, that will effectively um, help educate uh, the young people in this community. John and Mabel Ringling spent so much time and effort and their resources to build up this incredible collection and it's our responsibility to ensure that it's preserved. This museum was his legacy and his commitment to the citizens of Sarasota, but also the citizens of the state of Florida. Coming to the swamplands of Florida and building what they built here is just a testament of what they saw for, for the future of this area. I just felt it added so much to this community to have a museum of this stature sitting in Sarasota by the bay. Katazan is a house uh, that John and Mabel Ringling built, but it was also a, a community space. Uh, they wanted to have a European charm for the whole community, so John Ringling hired Dwight James Baum to design their magnificent mansion on the waterfront. There's only a few Gilded Age mansions in Florida. Most of the buildings have been torn down because of the high upkeep of something like this. But Katazan represents uh, the magnificence of uh, architecture and the beauty within. The Catazon, to my way of thinking, is really sort of the cultural heart of certainly the Ringling Museum, but quite frankly of all of Sarasota. Whenever you see any promotional material about Sarasota, there's invariably pictures of the Catazon because it's such a, a landmark and so visibly recognizable by everyone. But as you can imagine, a hundred-year-old house on the water in Florida has all sorts of issues with maintenance and, and preservation. And while we have done an excellent job at that to date, there's some significant work that still needs to be done. This is an old established uh, museum and it takes a lot of care and dedication to be able to enhance the infrastructure, care for the collections, because really that's, that's our number one goal is making sure that we're, we are taking care of these priceless objects that, that have been put forth in, in our custody. It never ceases to amaze me what we have in our collections here. In our collections and in our grounds and with the, the architecture as well. Um, but the collection includes a lot of uh, paintings, a very strong Baroque painting collection. We have um, a lot of sculptures, stone and bronze, and you'll see those in, in the museum, but also in the courtyards uh, throughout the estate. Well, the thing that, that is, I think, particularly unique to the Ringling is the diversity of the venue. Uh, now we have some of the newer venues like the Center for Asian Art and the uh, new contemporary galleries that have opened, all of the uh, traveling shows that, that appear at the Searing. I mean, there's just such a variety of different venues and things to get involved with. Uh, Ringling After Dark, Ringling Underground. I mean, it's really an incredibly diverse place such that I think there's almost something for everyone here. So the simple fact that we have so many different facets to the Ringling. We have the cir two circus museums actually, the Tibbles Learning Center and the original circus museum. We also have a historic theater. So there are so many different things there that kind of opens possibilities to be able to connect with our community. And so we want to make it more accessible and, and really spread the word that our grounds are open to the public and come and enjoy. That's what they're here for, that's what John and Mabel Ringling wanted. The idea behind Ringling Inspires is that what we offer this community is so broad and so uh, dynamic that people cannot help but be inspired. It's really an amazing complex that um, Katazan is the, the starting point, and then you can go from there and find your interest somewhere. 
It's truly a, uh, an experience of a lifetime to come to the Ringling. The last two years, there were 400,000 visitors here to the, to the Ringling. Uh, but the numbers are important, but I think also the diversity of who comes, diversity in terms of age, terms of ethnic group, parts of the country. And so another part of this campaign is to continue those programs that continue to build uh, that community, if you will. So those are really sort of the three key goals of this last phase of the Ringling Inspires. Preservation of the Katazan, the continuing building of the community, and then the global impact of, of the Ringling. We have a great opportunity here for this country, for the state. I realize the importance of financial support to keep the museum continuing onwards uh, through time. And I think it's something that's so special in our community that it needs to be supported so that we can carry on with future programs. When you look at how you manage and care for the philanthropy of John and Mabel Ringling, and then you look at the philanthropy of today's donors and their legacy gifts for the future, to see uh, children of all ages um, appreciate the history of the circus here, to appreciate contemporary and modern art here, uh, to really have unique experiences, literacy experiences. When a donor invests in the Ringling, they're making sure that that will be preserved into the future. Opportunities for all.